Mr. Michael Bloomberg, distinguished guests, friends, global businesses, our economy. I am very pleased uh, to be here among all the uh, captains of industry in New York, the nerve center of global business and economy. The Bloomberg Global Business Forum has uh, given me an opportunity to speak to you about India's sentiments and opportunities, India's expectations and hopes, India's growth story, and uh, India's future direction. I am very, very grateful to you for this opportunity. Friends, today you have once again the government in India that went to the people presenting the work it had done for five years and came back with an even greater majority than the last time and the government has given the people have given us an opportunity to save serve them once again in your discussions you often you often speak about business sentiment during these elections 1.3 billion indians not only expressed their sentiment but gave a judgment as well that development was their only and biggest priority. And the business leaders present here today can understand that this very strong mandate in favor of development is in reality an announcement of the new opportunities being created in India. Today, the people of India support a government that does not hesitate to take the biggest and most harsh decisions in order to improve the business environment. Today, there is a government in India that respects the business world, that respects the creation of wealth. Friends, you perhaps know that just recently we have decided to considerably reduce corporate tax. This is a very revolutionary step for attracting investment. And after we took this decision, all those that I have had a chance to meet uh, from the business world or speak to from the business world, they all consider this a very historic step. At the same time, to increase investments, the government has announced several successive decisions. We have also done away uh, very recently, just after the formation of the new government, uh, done away with 50 old laws that were obstacles for uh, development. I would like to remind you once again that our new government has not been in office for more than three or four months. Today, I would like to say to all of you at this forum that this is just a beginning. There is a still, there's still a long way to go. It is a golden opportunity for the business world to form partnerships with India to accompany it on this journey. Friends, today, India is in a unique position where our rapid growth enables us to cater to diverse demands. Our people are rapidly defeating poverty, moving up the economic ladder, and with increasing purchasing power. Thus, if you want to invest in a market where there is scale, come to India. Our middle class is a huge segment of people 
who are aspirational and have a global outlook. Thus, if you want to invest in a market where the latest trends and features are appreciated, come to India. Our youth are one of the largest users of the app economy. From food to transport, and from movies to hyperlocal delivery, startups are acing everything. Thus, if you want to invest in startups with a huge market, come to India. Our infrastructure creation is expanding at an unprecedented pace, from highways to metros, from railways to ports, from airports to logistics. Each sector is seeing massive investment and tremendous potential. Thus, if you want to invest in one of the world's largest infrastructure ecosystems, come to India. We are rapidly modernizing our cities and equipping them with latest technology and citizen-friendly infrastructure. Thus, if you want to invest in urbanization, come to India. We have opened our defense sector like never before. If you want to make an India for India and for the world, come to India. Friend, we are building tens of millions of homes for the middle class, for the poor. This is perhaps the largest housing effort in the world. Thus, to invest in real estate, come to India. Friends, today the government is investing, investing in infrastructure development like never before, much more than ever done before. In the next few years, we plan to invest approximately $1.3 trillion in modern infrastructure. Apart from this, we are also spending trillions on social infrastructure. The roadmap for a qualitative and quantitative leap in India's growth story has taken a concrete shape. Now, India has set an ambitious target for itself of becoming a $5 trillion economy. Friends, when we formed the government in 2014, then the country's economy was approximately a $2 trillion one. In the last five years, we have added $1 trillion to this. And now, we have rolled up our sleeves and are working to achieve a $5 trillion target. Friends. Friends, in order to achieve this ambitious target, we have the capability, the courage, and also the right conditions. Today, there are four important factors that have contributed to India's growth story, which indeed are rare to find all at once. I have to say this is the rarest of the rare combinations. And the four factors I talked about are democracy, demography, demand, and decisiveness. If I talk about the first factor, India is witnessing this kind of opportunity, this kind of political stability after decades. 
When there is democracy, political stability, when the policy is predictable, and when the judiciary is independent, it automatically gives the assurance of the safety and security of investment. Friends, this growth gets impetus from India's demographic dividend, from its young and energetic talent pool. India today is among countries with uh, the largest engineering education base and those that provide the most powerful R&D facilities. From as a result of the kind of encouragement that the Indian youth are getting with regard to innovation, India today stands at number three in terms of number of unicorns, and this is after America and China. Friends, the third factor is that of demand. As the large population of India is getting economically empowered and its purchasing power is rising, accordingly, its demand is also increasing. For example, for the last few years, the growth of air passenger traffic has been in double digits. As a result, Today, India is the world's third largest aviation market. Friends, along with democracy, demography, and demand, the factor that makes India special is decisiveness. Despite being a diverse and federal democracy, in the last five years, we have focused on preparing seamless and inclusive mechanisms and transparent mechanisms for all of India. Where there was a complex web of taxes in India, today we have a single tax regime, a single indirect tax regime in the form of the GST, and this has become an integral part of the business culture of the entire country. We have done considerable amount of work to strengthen the IPR and trademark regime. Similarly, in order to deal with insolvency and bank bankruptcy, we formulated the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. We will continue to make necessary reforms on a regular basis in order to align tax-related regulations and tax on equity investments with the global tax regime. Apart from tax reforms, the world's largest financial inclusion was done in India in a very short time. Approximately 370 million people have been made part of the banking system for the first time, and this was done in the last four or five years. Today, almost every citizen of India has a unique identification ID, a mobile phone, and a bank account, and these have resulted in faster delivery of targeted services, it has helped in prevention of leakage, and has increased transparency many times over. Friends, in the New India, we have started a sort of a campaign of deregulation, de-licensing, and de-bottlenecking. And it is due to these reforms that India has been performing better in all global rankings. Logistics Performance Index ranking jumped up 10 places. Global Competitive Index ranking took a leap of 13 places. Global Innovation Index ranking improved by 24 places. And most importantly, in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index, our improvement in rank of 65 places is unprecedented, it's extraordinary. And friends, you all know very well that uh, these rankings don't improve just like that. We 
have made improvements at the ground level and simplified our rules. I will give you another example. Earlier, it would take years for an industrial unit to get a power connection. And now, it takes only a few days to get a new power connection. Similarly, earlier, it would take several weeks to register a company. Now, company registration can be done in just a few hours. I will give you another example of the kind of changes that have occurred in the last five years. In the last five years, we have seen foreign direct investment in India of $286 billion. This is half of the total FDI inflow into India in the previous 20 years. Even the investment that America has done in India in the previous decades, 50% of that investment has been done only in the last four years. And that, too, at a time when the world over FDI inflow levels have been decreasing continuously. In this also, there is another interesting fact. Around 90% of this investment has been done by the FDI automatic route, and 40% is greenfield investment. If the confidence of investors has grown in India and are coming in for a long time, this is what it means. In fact, friends, Bloomberg's own report bears testimony to the changes happening in India. In the Bloomberg Nation Brand Tracker 2018 survey, India has been ranked number one in Asia for investment. In seven out of ten indicators, political stability, currency stability, high quality products, anti-corruption, low cost of production, strategic location, and respect for IPR. In all of these parameters, India has been ranked number one. Even in the remaining indicators, India's position was among the higher ranking countries. Your desires and our dreams match perfectly. Your technology and our talent can change the world. Your skill and our skills can speed up global economic growth. Your prudent method and our pragmatic mind can write new stories in management. Your rational ways and our human values can show the path which the world is looking for. And if there is any gap anywhere, I will personally act as a bridge. Thank you. Thank you very much.